Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which is the number one. When you first walk into my room, you will most likely notice my bed area, and that's because that's the most obnoxiously colorful part of my room. You know, I get a lot of questions asking me, Hey Ray, where are those anime posters from? They are actually from FedEx. Well, okay, they're partially from FedEx, but partially not. And what I mean is, I found the pictures themselves on Pinterest, and then I printed them off on the FedEx website and all you have to do is go to the marketing materials section of their website and there's like a flyers option. I can make a separate video explaining where and how I got my room decor, but for now let's just admire my little picture wall. I also have some star lights hanging up and they're not just plain star lights. I added vines and butterflies to them to make them extra, extra spunky, you know? And bada bing bada boom, here's the actual bed part of my bed area. As you can see, I clearly like stuffed animals. Very nice, very nice. Moving on, here is another clip of my bed. And my duvet covers are from Amazon. And I would also like to say that I do, in fact, have a mild obsession with cows still. Anyways, on my bed, I either A, sleep or B, stay up very late watching animes that I know I will never finish because you know what? The only reason I started those said animes was because one of the characters was really hot to me so I started watching it for them but then I got bored halfway through so I ended up never finishing it and I also have a very short attention span. Anyways, next to my bed is my window and I have a really big plant in front of it because I have always loved the look of plants everywhere but let's be real I always forget to water my plants so they always die and it's very amazing that this one's still alive and on my windowsill I have a bunch of little knickknacks so I have these three bear not sculptures bear thingies from the thrift store and I think they're really cute and I'm starting a little collection and I also have these stuffed animals as well. And I also have some more plants. Except for this one is dead! Uh, but this one is not, because I do remember to water this one. And here's another view of my little bears. And once again, um, since I'm a great plant parent, I am watering my plants in this clip, as you can see. Here is the closet of my room. And I have these little goofy floor flowers up because I like flowers. Wow. And the way that I made these was I just took some construction paper and I traced the flowers and I cut them out and taped them on. And I also have this little dude. His name is David. Yeah. Oh wow. And in this particular sector of my room, I pick out my outfits. And I spend a stupid amount of time every day picking out my outfit. I don't have a particular location to be most of the time because I never leave my house but I still like to dress up because I am I I am I work that way I guess I also have a bunch of bags behind my mirror and I also have my hats there but you can't see it cuz the mirror is blocking it so here are my hats they're both from the thrift store and I don't really wear them that much anymore cuz I don't go outside and now we are at the desk portion of my room and this is probably where I spend most of my time because you know online school and the online school <laughs> here are some little posters that I have the smaller ones I printed them out using the target photo thing and the bigger ones I printed them with FedEx since I spend most of my time at my desk I wanted to make it extra cute you know i wanted to make it extra nice to look at so i surrounded it with all my favorite stuffs for example i have this pea plushie and i also have this very pretty little snow globe and it has a little bear look at those sparkles wow 
I also store my jewelry on my desk area and as you can see I have all my necklaces hanging up as well as some of my favorite earrings. My earring hook hanger thingy is from the thrift store and my necklace hanger is from Amazon. Also, oh, here is my laptop. I included this clip because I wanted to flex my stickers. I also have all of my art supplies on my desk area because I really like drawing and I also like painting as well. And those are my paint brushes and colored pencils. Here's a look of my desk workspace area and I have Kura Pika. And basically what I do all day is I will get up, brush my teeth, wash my face, maybe eat breakfast, and then I sit down in my bunny chair and I open my laptop and stare at it for the next 10 hours because of online school. And then maybe I'll take a nap afterwards. And here on my wall, I just have all my Hello Kitty backpacks. I really like Hello Kitty, you know, bags. And I actually have more that you will see later on in the video when I, uh, when I show it, huh? Wow. And my chair is actually a gamer chair. Um, now, am I a gamer of any type, of any sort? You know, I am not. I'm actually terrible at pretty much all games except for The Sims 4. But I do really like this chair. I mean, it's pink, it's a bunny, and it just makes my room look so much cuter. And now, here is my memory wall this was originally supposed to be a memory wall but i don't really like get out that much nowadays because of covid so i just stick on whatever i can find and you know most of it is just like little cutouts from snacks or their receipts for stuff not really receipts they're like tickets i guess and some of my favorite parts of my wall include this drawing made by my lovely friend vivi and my pride flag which i got at the first time that i went to pride and also the last time because the first time i went was last year and this year pride got canceled i also have my parasite poster from all posters i recommend that website if you're looking for cheap posters because they always have sales and i also have this hand drawing that i made freshman year of high school i have no idea why i said it like that because i was literally in freshman year last year but I still do really like this drawing. I still think it's pretty cool. A lot of the little cutouts on my wall are actually from snacks that I've eaten and I like to cut out the cartoon characters from them and I think it looks pretty cool. This art print is from Merful on Instagram and I absolutely adore their art style and I wanted to buy something from their Etsy shop. Now moving on, here is my dresser area and on top of my dresser I just have a bunch of little decorations and stuff first i have this exo album that was given to me by vivi thank you vivi but in all honesty though i am very grateful that she was kind enough to give this to me because this is the first physical k-pop album that i've owned and i also really love exo as well and on my dresser thing i also have this hello kitty lunchbox that was gifted to me by my friend bella for my birthday and inside it, I have a bunch of candies, and they're really like strawberry flavored things. That's why all the candies in there are strawberry flavored. For the last part of my wall, I just have the remainder of my Hello Kitty bags, and these are little purses, as you can see. And for the hooks that hold them up, they're actually little baby hands, because I thought that'd be fun. There's actually little thumbtacks underneath the baby hands to hold them up. And now moving on, finally, the last part of my room, my door. The way that I made the cow pattern was I used construction paper and I found a picture of cow print on Google and I just used it as a reference because I didn't want to trace it exactly because I feel like it looks better if it's a little more uneven, you know, a little bit of realism, if you will. And I also have these little stickers on the wall because I don't really like empty white space. So I decided to fill up with some stickers from Amazon. Here is one last look of my bedroom and all its glory. And if you enjoyed the video, please like it and please also subscribe. Thank you.